Hi everybody. Well, tonight, yesterday used to honor the first night of Passover, and I have a lot of memories of the Passover Seder when I was growing up as a little girl. I guess we first started at my grandma Bessie's house, and as the time went on, my dad took it over. And every year we had a Passover Seder where my cousins came. I'm trying to remember which cousins. It's too many years ago. I can't even remember which ones were there. But yes, we had a Seder, and I do remember my dad was started in Hebrew. Not that I really understand Hebrew that well, but yes. And my mom made matzah stuffing. I don't know how she did it, but she was, it came out okay, but I prefer the other one more, obviously. But yes, every year on Passover, we were not allowed to eat bread. It had to be unleavened bread for so many days. And she made unleavened. She, also, my great-grandma Bubba homemade horseradish and used that as bitter herbs. That's part of the Seder. So is the hard-boiled egg, the celery and salt water. It's all part of the Seder. And the leg of lamb is all part of the Seder. And I remember my father, I do remember this one thing that he said in Hebrew. Baruch Adonai, 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 Pesach. That's a happy Passover. That means Passover survived. And I remember we were all little kids at the time. And during the Seder, a knock was on the door. Actually, my father knocked on the table. We didn't know that. And he said, it's Elijah. We had to answer the door to let him in. So we let Elijah in. And, you know, we, we thought he was there, but he wasn't. But it was fun. And we also had chocolate matzo. Remember that also? And it was just a wonderful, wonderful celebration that my, my family did every single year. And, it's you know, I, you know, I just don't do it anymore. Also, the matzo ball soup. I remember eating matzo ball soup. Sometime down the road, I'm going to tr definitely try to film that. I, you know, it'll be a while. I have to figure out how to get a good recipe. I sadly, I had a, the recipe book that my mom had, and I don't know what happened to it. You know, moving and everything. Who knows? So, yes, my mother also made fantastic matzo ball soup. And matzo balls were really big matzo balls. And that was something else that we had on Passover, plus turkey, which was stuffed with matzo stuffing and vegetables and, of course, the chocolate matzo. And there was also, we used to play a game called hide the matzo, where my father would hide the matzo and whoever found the matzo would automatically get chocolate matzo. We all got chocolate matzo. I'm not sure if they even make it anymore. That was many years ago. you got to keep that in mind, folks. And yes, they definitely did a very good job leading the Seder. Every year we had it. I just can't remember. My first cousins were probably there, maybe a few second cousins. It was just too many years ago that we had this. And, you know, wonderful, wonderful celebration. And, of course, now I celebrate Easter. As you can see, I'm sort of dressed with flowery colors in honor of Easter arriving also. From Deborah Wade's Home Country Kitchen, Happy Passover. And this is in honor of all my relatives who, who are Jewish. And all my relatives are basically Jewish. Have a great day, and please subscribe to my wonderful YouTube channel.